Hello mortals, Kat here. Today I'm going to give you a collective haul of everything that I purchased in January. A few things that I didn't get in January but that I haven't mentioned before so I wanted to show you. And then I'll end it with some favorites for the month. We'll try to do this every month this year. Hold me to it. But let's get started because there's quite a few things. So the first item is this really cute like knit sweater cardigan thingy that I got off of AliExpress and it's from a company called Zaffle. I think they have their own website too. But a girl on Instagram that I follow posted wearing it. She's a really cute Disney Instagrammer so I'll link to her in the video description so you can check her out as well as to this sweater. But yeah, I, I was like, I need this sweater as soon as I saw her wearing it. It's so freaking cute. I love that it doesn't have a zipper. It doesn't have any buttons. So it just like hangs open. I prefer things like that. I hate when stuff has zippers and buttons. So. I love this one so much. It's wonderful. And it's super warm, which sucks because it's actually getting really warm here lately. The next items I actually ordered last night and they came today. Yay, Amazon Prime. But I wanted some fishnets, so I got a pack of fishnet. They're like by size order, so here. Like really fine fishnet, a little bit bigger, and then a little bit bigger, and then the biggest. And yeah, these are great. I love them, so... I can't wait to wear these because I've been wanting to wear a lot of fishnet lately for some reason. I don't know why I've been feeling fishnetty. And now I have some new ones to wear because all of mine were damaged and destroyed. And I will put these in some outfit posts on Instagram so you can see how I like them. And I'll link these in the video description as well. This item I actually didn't purchase. It's from my mom. She bought it for me for Christmas slash my birthday. I don't remember. Um, but it's a really cute little like... Uh, Sailor, Sailor Moon bag, but it's uh, Luna, and I love Luna. She's my favorite. But <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. And I haven't actually used it out yet, but uh, I want to soon. And I like, I'm going to save it, I think, for a going out bag, like when we go out to dinner or to bars and stuff, because it's small and it's kind of cute, and I don't want to ruin it with my everyday wear. I ordered these really cute socks off of Lace Market. They are Alice and the Pirates, and they're like kind of a candy cane style stripe. And they're over the knees. I love them. They're silver, black, and white. I needed some of these to go with some cords I have planned. And I really don't have that much actual brand socks anymore. So I'm trying to like build up my sock wardrobe again. The next item is this really cute choker I got off AliExpress. It was like $2, I think. And it came pretty fast. I thought it was going to take months to get here, but it actually came pretty fast. I love that it has a little crystal and the dangling crescent moon. I'm trying to get more necklaces that have like moon and star theme to them and are kind of like celestial and witchy because that's kind of a witch I want to be is a celestial one. So I also got this choker and it's really cute. It has a star with pearls and then like a little sun, a moon, and a planet with rings orbiting it and some stars hanging off and another little moon right there, crescent moon. This one's really pretty. I like, absolutely love this one. It's super like flashy but still like witchy and kind of like 80s at the same time and I ordered another one of these that's like um it's a bunch of different chains and like moons hanging from it at different like heights but it hasn't come yet so we'll see if it does I will link all three of them down below but they were all like only like two to five dollars a piece so pretty good deal so this item also came in the mail today and it is a body line uniform that I ordered off of Lace Market and it's the size large in their lavender sailor uniform. A lot of people use this and actually make the skirt longer by adding like an underskirt and use this for Lolita. Um, especially in the navy blue colorway because it's like super super popular with Lolita for colors and Sailor Lolita. I got it because I just wanted a really cute little lavender maid uniform and it came with a really cute headband and this detachable neck bow and this detachable apron that ties in the back. I love the apron. It's so cute. I have it pinned on right now so it doesn't fall off so I can hang it. It does wrinkle really easily but I don't know. It's super super cute. I love it. It kind of reminds me. I've been watching Blend S right now and it reminds me of Miyu. She's my favorite character from that anime so I'm like oh I love her. And I love this outfit. Next, I got two new lipsticks this month. And one is Black Cat. The other is Witch's Brew. These are from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. I needed a new black lipstick that wasn't from a problematic producer. And I haven't heard anything negative about Pretty Zombie Cosmetics' owner. So I thought it would be safe to go ahead and order from them, as well as I had a few friends who recommended them. And I wanted to just to try Witch's Brew at the same time. So I'm wearing Witch's Brew right now. 
and black cat's just your typical black lipstick i will post pictures of wearing it on instagram if you want to check it out and i'll post a little review in my stories if you're wondering how it goes on so far i really like the wear of this i've been wearing it for quite a few hours i did eat dinner and then i touched it up a little bit after dinner but yeah i really like it it's a little bit more sticky than other um liquid like matte lipsticks that i've had in the past but yeah, it's like it's pretty sticky, but it's still nice. I still really like it. The Tsum Tsum subscription box this month was amazing. It was Mulan themed. And so it's for the end scenes where they're with the emperor and they're all just like concubines. So we've got her three friends dressed as concubines. And then we've got Shang and Mulan and Mushu da, 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 da. and they're the really like mini versions they're like they're super small they're smaller than the regular size I think these are called minis I think that's the size these are considered or tinies maybe because the regular ones are minis and then the one step up that was in the old subscription box are small I can never remember what sizes for <laughs> Sim Sims there's so many different ones but they're so cute I love Mulan so I was like super excited about these ah I ordered two amazing things like way in advance a while ago that are Disney related and they finally came in the mail so I want to show them with you. The first is the Rapunzel Nendoroid. Isn't she freaking adorable? So she comes with three different face options. Usually they come with two. Uh, the lantern, her little tiara, Pascal's down here, she has the frying pan, she has a bunch of different hand options. She also has her like little painter's palette and different hands like you know like looking to find size and stuff so it's like super 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 cute there's so many different options and her hair is just gorgeous like the back of her hair is just heavenly I just ugh, I love her so much so I'm really excited that I got her she's like the best android I've ever had poor Nozomi I'm sorry but I'm excited for the rest of the Disney ones I haven't ordered any of the other ones that released there was Tinkerbell, Beauty and the Beast and um Little Mermaid. And I only ordered Rapunzel so far, but I am looking forward to Buzz and Woody and Jack Sparrow and Jack Skellington and Sully and Mike are also coming out. I think that's all of the ones that we're waiting on. But yeah, I just really needed Rapunzel for sure. And then I think the next ones that I'll definitely get, if Woody ends up, uh, Woody and Buzz end up being really cool, I'll get them for sure. And I know that I have to get Jack Sparrow. I'm kind of iffy on Jack Skellington right now, but we'll see if he's really cute. I'll have to get him because all these face options that the Disney ones are having is like just wonderful. It's wonderful. So I'm going to put her down. She's like super delicate. And then the last item in the haul, I think I'm going to look around really quickly. Yeah, the last item is the craziest item, I think. And it is pretty big, so I'm going to drag it over for you. Yes, I did get a Rapunzel cosplay. And this is from Secret Honey. They do all the official Disney collab costumes, so it's um, really close to the park style. The bodice is a little bit shorter than the one that they offer at the park, but it is, again, a Japanese brand, so obviously it's going to be a little shorter. Everything else fits me the right height. Like, this skirt is... Um, long enough, the sleeves go long enough, just the bodice, especially with the my size boobs, it just like it literally like sits like up here on me, which sucks. So I'm gonna have to lose some weight to fit into this a little bit better, but in the meantime, I like it. It's just decoration because it's absolutely gorgeous. There is like all of this embroidery on here, but then there's beaded embroidery as well, and then there's embroidery here, here, and this is a two piece. So the corset part all comes off with the sleeves and everything right here. And this is like an underdress with the fabric. So you could just like pull it on over. I love it. It's so, so good. So now that we're done with the haul, we can move on to favorites for the month. And for media favorites, I haven't watched any new movies, so I have no movies to recommend. But for anime, I've been watching a lot. We just finished, um, well, we caught up to Occult 9, I think. I don't think it's finished because it ended really weird. So I feel like it can't be the end of it. Like, it wouldn't make any sense. But we've been watching Occult 9, and it's so, 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 so good. And I'm pretty sure it's the same people who make Steins Gate, Robotics Notes, and one other anime that I really like. But it's so good. Like, totally worth watching. 
I really love it if you like horror psychological thriller style stuff. It's not too gory. Okay, it is a little gory. Another anime that I'm watching is Blend S. I love Blend S. And I think that's how you pronounce it. It's it's an interesting anime about a cafe that has girls who have different themed personalities and like the main character plays the sadistic maid or waitress at the cafe and it's hilarious. My favorite character is Miyu. She's a redhead and she is a doujinshi, do do why can I say it right now? Doujinshi artist. So she's pretty pervy and I love her. She's like my favorite character. She's the big sister type at the cafe. Um, yeah, I really like that anime. And there's another one that we just finished watching as well that we really, really liked, but now I cannot remember it for the life of me. Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches. And it's amazing if you like slice of life romance that's set in high school, because those are my favorite, that's my favorite genre of anime. And it also has a magical element to it, which makes it even better. Uh, it's really cute. It's about, um, a boy who falls, it's like the, I'm going to give you the first episode synopsis a little bit so you can, it doesn't give away too much of the story. He basically like trips, he's a delinquent, and he trips on the stairs and falls into the good girl in the school, like the overachieving good girl that everybody's like, oh, she's so perfect. Uh, he trips and they kiss when they are falling down the stairs and they switch bodies and it's like their adventures together and their blossoming romance. It's so good. I love it. I wish that there was a second season already. I hope there's a second season. There's probably, there's not going to be a second season, but it is really, really good. And there's a lot of episodes of that. So if you like that, it's also dubbed. Um, that's dubbed. What else? And so is a cult nine that we watched is dubbed, but I'm watching blend S it's not dubbed, but it's so good. So it's worth it. Yes. Okay, um, I think that's all for anime. I haven't started playing any new phone games, so I have no phone games to recommend you. I am going to start playing Doki Doki Literature Club because a lot of you have been sending it to me, telling me to play it. So I'm actually going to live stream and play it if you are interested in that sort of thing. I will have the event up, the live stream event up sometime soon. I'm just working on getting my live streaming setup done better so it looks nice, you know what I mean? I want you guys to enjoy it. So if you're interested in watching Doki Doki Literature Club playthrough, I will be your guide soon enough. I know I'm behind a little bit, but I've been really busy lately. I have been listening to quite a few podcasts lately. If you are on Spotify, you don't even have to have a paid account, just a free account. I love Spotify. I live on there. But anyways, I've discovered that they have a podcast section. I never knew this before. And I've been listening to a bunch of like criminal podcasts. Um, criminal, the just called criminal. It's probably my favorite. I also like UK True Crime and True Crime Enthusiast. I think those are my top three favorite. There was another one that I was listening to before that that's really good. There's two um, investigative ones. If I remember them, I will link them in the video description, but for sure, if you haven't been into podcasts or just like true crime stuff like I like to watch and you run out of um, Unsolved Mysteries and those kind of case file shows on Netflix, go into podcasts because actually the UK ones were a lot of stories that I've never heard. So that's everything I have to talk about for now. If you have any questions, leave them down in the video comments or send me a message on Instagram and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the little notification button so you can get notified every time I live stream from now on because I'm going to start live streaming and that's going to be pretty cool and I'd like it if more of you guys were on there to like watch it and interact with me so I'm not just like boring. Please interact with me. <sighs> yeah and any other social media links that you need are down in the video description as well as links to everything that I mentioned today and I think that's everything so don't forget to stay spooky. I will see you soon. Bye!